الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد. We are finally nearing the very end of this month, and now is the time where people usually get all caught up in Eid preparations, be it shopping, discussing the menu, decorating the house, invitations, so on and so forth. And in the process, an ample of time is spent on Eid conversations, and in doing so, we tend to forget. that we might not live to see another ramadan matter of fact we might not even live to see the eid that we are so excitedly preparing for as of now the majority of us would have spent and invested a good amount of our time in connecting and strengthening our relationship with our rabb allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so why will we want to let all our prayers duas recitations zikr sadaqa or any other ibadah we did all those special and unexplainable moments we had with our lord be forgotten so quickly and for the ones who still haven't yet been able to connect with allah it's fine you can still take complete total and absolute advantage of these last few days spend these last few moments boosting even the smallest of deeds you were doing maximize your worship like never before make dua to allah like never before remember allah like never before exceed and exceed and exceed in whatever you do like never before allah is excellent and he subhanahu wa ta'ala loves excellence you and i never know it might be that our souls are taken during these final days itself and we return to our rabb with a sound heart because of the work we put in to tighten our bond with him subhanahu wa ta'ala and it might be that he forgives us because we pushed ourselves pushed our limits in these ending days of ramadan and utilized every last moment of this month to glorify him to praise him and to thank him and it might be that he enters us into jannah paradise because of these few moments that we took out of our schedule to gain a closeness to him and to gain his guidance his love his forgiveness and his mercy it might be that you and i meet each other on the day of ultimate judgment standing before rabbul alamin standing before the lord of the heavens and the earth the lord of the east and the west and he azza wa jal in his perfect majesty and love decides to have mercy on us because he saw us putting in our complete potential to improve ourselves for his sake and he saw his slaves journeying towards him he saw his slaves putting their heads on the ground prostrating to him during the last part of the nights in ramadan in search of the night of decree and in search of his mercy and in search of his forgiveness wa aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum